hey, yes, we are still in the city of Natchitoches. And of course, during that press conference, the greatest question was, when can power be restored? And of course, they say the hope is that 90 to 95 percent of their residents should have their power restored by tonight. But that may very well change because it has since started to rain rather extensively. Be sure to share your resources with those in the community so that we can all manage during this time. I'm going to send things back to you at the studio. I am currently on Boisseau Street where a house fire was reported around 9 o'clock this evening. And of course, there are massive crews who are here blocking both entrances to the street. I've seen at least 15 crews that have been on scene and about 30 firefighters thus far. They have truly been doing their due diligence to make sure that they get this fire extinguished. I've seen them actually breaking down parts of the home to make sure that they are getting those hot spots that are still there so that it doesn't continue to cause a blaze for potential issues down the line. Of course, we're going to continue to keep you updated right here on air and online at KTBS.com. I'm currently stationed in Days End parking lot and behind me is Interstate 49. Going north and south, I was keeping a close eye on any potential accidents, injury, or traffic buildup as a result of Hurricane Delta. And I didn't really seem to see any issues, but when I started to make my way closer to Natchitoches, the rain started to pick up, the wind started to pick up, and we are going to continue to follow the impact of Hurricane Delta and its impact on the city of Natchitoches in different parts of the city all throughout this evening. Well, the conditions are uh, definitely rainy, of course. Um, from the two hours ago that we got here, it was extremely intense with the rain. It was extremely intense in the wind, but the rain continues to come down. The wind has since uh, subsided a bit, which is definitely a relief. Um, when it comes to actually contacting some officials, I spoke with Fire Captain Downs, who said, fortunately, they haven't had any major issues when it comes to reports of outages, no major fires or anything of that nature, which is definitely a big difference from the coverage we were getting giving you from Hurricane Laura. We will continue to give you updates on how Hurricane Delta is impacting the people of Natchitoches, both on air and online at KTBS.com. I'm going to send things back to you at the studio. So I'm actually joined right now with Fire Chief John Wynn of Natchitoches. So can you tell us what's going on so far and what are some of your preparations now? Well, we've been preparing for the past couple of days. Um, been watching the storm as it's developed. Uh, it's really not much different than we prepared for Laura. Um, we've, you know, gotten all of our equipment together. We keep it ready to go 24 hours as it is, you know, at a, and, uh, we had a meeting with the OEP yesterday and today, uh, with our local community leaders, our, our mayor, parish president, and, uh, sheriff's office, police department, and, uh, public works. Uh, they've been sand, getting sandbags prepared just in case they needed them. Um, we've just been, been working just to be ready for it. And it's been pretty quiet thus far, right? It, it's been quiet here so far. Just the light rain that you've seen as you was coming in today. Uh, very little wind. We've had just a couple little traffic accidents that and I can't say whether they were weather related or not, but um, that's about it for us today. And are there any additional measures you want to remind the people at home to make sure that if they are still weathering this storm that they can continue to take those extra measures and precautions while they're at home or out and about? Well, as you've seen, the storm is starting to take a little bit of an easterly track. So the rain, the rain is, I think we're not supposed to have quite as much rain, but you know, it's a possibility for some local flooding. So if we have any flooding that covers the roads, please turn around and don't drown. Don't drive across the, don't drive across the flooded roadways. Also, if we should lose power or anything like that, we want to practice some uh, uh, generator safety. Uh, place the uh, generators in a safe spot away from windows, away from ventilation areas. Where the exhaust doesn't go back into the house where they're at because uh as as you know in laura we had several carbon monoxide related deaths and so we want to be sure to tell the public to to practice generator safety absolutely uh, they can go to the state fire marshal's website and see some videos and go to some of your local fire departments place videos about uh, generator safety perfect thank you so much john Wynn. i'm going to send things back to you with the studio all right, all right. alexis thanks for the update there from natchitoches uh, it's pretty rainy Pulling and down a rain, bit yeah. windy. The wind just started to pick up, actually. And I'm on 2nd Street. As you can probably guess, the streets are extremely quiet. Nobody is really out and about. Not even so many cars, which makes sense since Delta just made landfall. So, the course, as I just mentioned, the wind is picking up. The rain is picking up. I'm actually going to step out of frame just briefly so you can kind of see just how quiet it really is. And Fire Chief Wynn, I spoke to him a little bit, and he said that, yes, Delta is not as impactful 
vocal or as aggressive, I should say, as Hurricane Laura, but that does not mean that they are not ready and prepared for anything to possibly break. <laughs> That rain and that wind have definitely started to pick up. We actually had to move inside of the garage of the central fire station in Natchitoches because, of course, it was super windy. You may not be able to see it in this live hit, but just past the camera, I can see one of the street lights, and now it's starting to flicker, and I really think it has to do with that strong wind that's starting to come through the area. But with being in the garage of the fire station, I just wanted to go ahead and take a quick step right over here there is a fire truck. I know this wouldn't mean much any other time, but the beauty of this is that if we're seeing fire trucks at the fire station, that means a lot isn't going on outside, letting people know that, hey, people are being safe. People are staying off the road. There haven't been any major emergencies that the fire department has had to actually be dispatched out to, which is always wonderful because that means people are doing their due diligence to remain safe and learning from their mistakes from Hurricane Laura to make sure that they don't have any repeats during Hurricane Delta. It is where the rain's still coming down, isn't it? Oh, yes, coming down and coming down extremely hard. The wind probably in the last maybe two minutes or so just picked up extremely intense. You may be able to even see like the ground. You can see the water pushing and the rain and the wind just pushing against the street. And you can see kind of the ripples as the wind continues to push that rain. I'm trying my best to try to stay as dry as possible but because that wind continues to push. I've had to continue to flip my umbrella inward because the winds are that strong now. And they just again started to pick up, I would say in the last two minutes or so. And if you are on the road in Nashville, now is the time to make sure that you get back in the house. Make sure you have all of the necessary essentials and prepare for your power to possibly go out. We are going to let you know all of those details. And because we are at the Central Fire Station, we actually have Fire Chief Wynn available to speak to us. So if we hear more information, we will be able to give it to you in the most immediate fashion possible right here on air and on our social media. So be sure to stay tuned. Back to you wind gusts. Those, there's those wind gusts that uh, Alexis has been talking about. We're going to watch your umbrella go upside down here any second now if we stay with you. All right, Alexis, we'll let you uh, go take some cover for now and we'll check in with more from you later on. Next time we saw you, you were about to look like Mary Poppins. That umbrella is about to pull you right up into the air. How are things now? <laughs> on the uh, verge of looking like Mary Poppins because I've already had to flip my umbrella multiple times just before the live hit. And you may still get a flipped umbrella during this time that I'm with you right now. The winds are definitely picking up and like Patrick, it is pretty dark, which is why we're staying put at the Central Fire Station because right now that seems to be the safest place for us to be. In fact, even with the strong winds, we're still not getting any major reports of any kind of damage or the fire department having to report on anything or excuse me to actually be dispatched <laughs> to anything hectic but that is okay because I've actually seen more fire cars come back into the garage and enter into the station which is a really good sign because that means that people are staying inside they are taking their they are, they are doing their part to make sure that they are staying safe and staying in the house until Hurricane Delta passes. And you know what? I might as well do away with this umbrella because it's really not doing anything for me because the wind is not allowing it to. We're going to continue to follow everything going on with Hurricane Delta in Natchitoches, so be sure to stay tuned. Back to you. Bless your heart, Alexis. Get out of the rain. Get out of the rain. That It's going to pull you into the sky. Thank you. We'll come back and see you again later. All right. Everything is pretty smooth at the Central Fire Station as I have been covering. It hasn't been too jam packed because again, people are staying indoors, making sure that they are in and safe spaces until this storm clears. But there has been a little bit of activity here at the Natchitoches Central Fire Station. They actually were just dispatched because they got a call from the Holiday Inn Express saying that there was an elevator entrapment. There is still some speculation as to whether or not that was due to a possible power surge because of Hurricane Delta, but we are still waiting for confirmation on those details. But that's really been the gist here at the Central Fire Station, the most activity they've really seen as of right now. If you're just tuning in for this coverage, as I have consistently been mentioning, they have tons of fire trucks and fire cars stationed here. So that is a good sign, letting me, letting me know that there's not a lot of activity, but that does not mean that they are not on standby, waiting and ready for anything that could possibly break. Back to you. 
Well, I'm just glad that you're still safely on the ground and that umbrella's not turning backwards on you again like it has been all night. Stay safe out right. there, Alexis. <laughs> all right, thanks. I'm at the fire station and people at home are probably asking themselves, why is she in a fire truck in the middle of a hurricane? Well, let me tell you why, because this fire truck actually just got back from that elevator entrapment rescue that we told you about a couple of live hits ago. It was actually happened at Holiday Inn Express and they think it was prompted because of the power surge that happened. Now, I thought that power surge was specific to that area, but just minutes after that, I posted something on Facebook Live showing Second Street, where it was a pitch black street, and I figured, oh, maybe the fire station turned off their lights. When the reality of it was, a surge also affected the central fire station as well. So it was completely dark out here, which is a testament to everybody at home that if you can stay home, do so. If you're trying to get somewhere, but you are in safe areas right now, please stay there because it is too dark on the roads in order for you to be driving. So it's pretty intense. I actually just let the folks at home who are following us on social media know that it is pitch black on these streets of Natchitoches. So I just posted a video of Second Street and it has it was so dark like I literally needed to turn on the car light just to actually see some of what was going on on the street. So if you are at home or if you are not at home, make sure you don't get on the roads to get somewhere else because it is entirely too dangerous. In fact, some of this light that I've been having, I've been so fortunate to really that all of it was coming from the central fire station. So it's just a testament that everyone needs to stay home to stay safe so that we can all weather this storm together. I'm going to send things back to you. All right. Another power outage. So we're no longer at the central fire station. We have since moved closer to I-49. And on my drive here, let me just tell you, it was definitely dangerous. There were some pockets on the road where it was definitely just super scary to drive through. There were parts of my car that were jerking, trying to resist against the wind and the rain. So I'm not just coming to you as your reporter. I'm coming to you as a Lexus and somebody who's in the field saying, if you do not have to be on these roads, do not. When we got here to take additional cover at the Quality Inn Express, everything was fine. Everything around was well lit. And maybe two to three minutes of, of, our, of our arrival, the power has completely gone out. And I don't know if they have generators or not, but they have not kicked into gear as of yet. So as you can see, it is pitch black, not just at the Quality Inn, but in the surrounding areas as well. Complete darkness. The only light we have is the one that we have for the sake of doing our live hits out here. So make sure you guys, if you don't have to be on the road, I can't insist enough to not be on the road if you don't have to be. I'm actually going to get off the road immediately after this live hit because there is a sense of anxiety that comes along with now having to drive on these roads that are completely black. So make sure you guys are doing your due diligence to keep yourself and those on the road safe as well. Back to you.